In our third example of fraction to percent, we have 5 eighths. Now we notice that our denominator of 8 is not a factor of 100. So what we're going to do is multiply out and see what we get. Now when we multiply out, we know that 8 times 5 will give us 40. We also know because of our divisibility rules that if 8 goes into 40, it will also go into 400. Therefore, 400 is going to be our new denominator. So our new equation becomes 5 eighths equals x over 400. So all we do now is take our 400 divided by 8 to get 50, take that 50, multiply it by 5 to get 250, and we go to our next step. So now we have 5 eighths equals 250 over 400. But remember, we need a denominator of 100. So all we're going to do is reduce or simplify both numerator and denominator until we end up with a denominator of 100. So half of 250 is 125, half of 400 is 200. Half of 125 is 62.5, Half of 200 is 100. Therefore, we're going to stick with 62.5 over 100. Now all we do is take our fraction bar and our denominator of 100 away, keep our 62.5, add a percent sign for a final answer of 62.5%.